My curiosity is through the roof on what's going to happen in season five to these three right here. Now, I can say that I was impressed with how the final scenes moved along without feeling rushed. Kenny is in the getaway car with his dad, headed to Waycross, Georgia, and along the way, they got to pick up Dennis and Holly. <laughs> Now, the mere fact that Brother X only has one hour to live, I'm thinking that picking up these two may not be as easy as we think. Holly might hear him moaning and groaning over there in all that fresh metal grass and then run over there and try to save him. Even though Dennis told her that she had to choose, she had to decide if she wanted to leave with them or wait on Brother X, and she chose to go with them, which was the right decision because all Brother X wanted to do was kill a Duncan. Now, do y'all think that she's in love with this fool? She can't be. I mean, she just met him, and I don't know. She could be, but judging from how things have been going with him for the past two seasons, nothing that Brother X gets involved with ends well, right? But on a more serious note, I just hope that Holly makes it out of Larry's car alive because once Dennis tells Larry that she killed his niece, Sasha, it's lights out for Holly, and I'm wondering why Dennis hasn't already told his buddy what he knows yet. Maybe he's going to blackmail Holly. What is it? I don't know. What's in it for him? Because he really doesn't have anything to gain or lose by telling Larry. Will she make it to Waycross safely? That's the question. And it may not be such a bad idea for them to just leave her behind, if you think about it, because the only people that know about Mrs. Franklin or Sasha is Dennis and Brother X, of course, but he's over there gurgling in the grass. <laughs> so he can't say nothing, right? Otherwise, no one else knows about her body count. So why not just play it safe and chill out in New York? I don't know, find another asylum to manage and just go and be the receptionist somewhere else. But I don't know who's gonna let her sit in the front of their establishment with that green colonel's jacket on though. <laughs> but she can work all that out. But that jacket does kind of pair nicely with fresh meadows, doesn't it? Green meadows? No? <laughs> okay. Now, our next character here, Kenny Duncan, his final scene ended in the hallway of Fresh Meadows with his mom and his dad. Now, Kenny is a hothead, a loose cannon, dangerously uncontrollable. His own father had to demand that he put the gun down when he drew it on his own mama. Side note here, I really liked how Carl Weber reminded us right at the very end in that hallway scene that Nini really loves her husband and she really had no idea what level of crazy that Larry was really on. She learned that Larry doesn't really have to be provoked to violence, but if they ever, ever, ever get back together, she definitely needs to learn his triggers, right? For sure. Just so that she can avoid them. I'm sure living with Larry Duncan is like walking through a landmine. But it is common knowledge that if some form of mental illness is in your family, chances are some of that illness may also rub off on you. And I'm not sure if this is the case with Kenny and Larry because it seems as if Kenny may have been raised in conflict. And instead of playing with footballs and baseball bats, he had guns and hand grenades. <laughs> Kenny even pulled a gun on his own sister. And to be fair, I think that he may have done this just to scare her because Lauren stays strapped too, right? So I'm sure that he knew just how far to take things with her. But I don't like calling people who are mentally sensitive crazy. So you can form your own opinion about Kenny here. And that's what I like about creating commentary on fictional characters. We ain't talking about a person's real life here, right? It's all make-believe. So I'm gonna just err on this side of caution and discuss made up imaginary characters, period. So they're all headed to Waycross, Georgia, y'all. And what can we expect from this? I don't think they're gonna be cutting up in Georgia like they did in New York. What's their plan? The only plan that Larry has at the moment is eating some of Kenny's grandmother's pie. Now they really need a meticulously well thought out plan. And I'm confident that Larry can do that. Larry, Larry was able to overthrow an insane asylum, convince police officers, executives at the facility, deceive board certified doctors, the whole nine. So I'm confident that he can come up with a plan for little old country way across Georgia. It's not really the country like that, but it tends to move at a slower pace than New York, much slower, right? But tell me what you guys think about Kenny, Dennis, and Holly. Comment below and let me know what you think about this Waycross Georgia field trip that they're on. And while you're down there, like this video if you like the video. And if you're a fan of the family business, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.